Today, we've seen 407 new cases. Over the past several days, we've seen alarming growth in the number of COVID cases in Ontario. Three weeks ago, we were around 80 cases. A week ago, we were around 200 cases. Now, we're over 400 cases and climbing. Folks, the alarm bells are ringing. And too much of it has been tied to people who aren't following the rules. People who think it's okay to hold parties, to carry on as if things are back to normal. They aren't. We need to take decisive action, as we did in the earlier stages of COVID, to protect our vulnerable and to protect the progress we've made together. That's why, effective this morning, our government is taking immediate action to lower social gathering sizes in every region in Ontario. Informal gatherings across the province will be limited to 10 people indoors and 25 people outdoors for the next 28 days. We made this decision based on the advice of our Chief Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Williams, and our public health team. Folks, we can't have these wild parties right now. It's just way, way too risky. And we can't have people merging indoor and outdoor parties, so don't try to get around the rules. This is about everyone's health and safety, and we have to come down hard on the rule breakers. We have to crack down on the illegal parties, but it's not fair to everyone who's doing their part. We've introduced legislation to set a minimum fine of $10,000 for the organizers of illegal parties. And under the current emergency orders, if you're caught going to one of these parties, you could get slapped with a $750 fine. And again, these new restrictions do not apply to events held in staff facilities, such as movie theaters, restaurants, banquet halls, places of worship, and gyms or convention centers. Folks, we have to keep physical distancing. We have to be vigilant. And I know that testing is absolutely critical. It's the top priority for us right now. It's essential. Today, we set a new record for testing with 39,000 tests complete. It's a good sign we're heading in the right direction. We have 10 new pop-up assessment centers coming online as we speak. We're extending hours at numerous assessment centers across the province. We're working to get testing in pharmacies and hotspots. And you will hear more from us in the coming days about how we'll keep expanding testing even further. Because at this critical moment, how we face the next surge, how we hold off the next wave, it's critical and it's up to all of us. And as Premier, I'll do whatever it takes to keep everyone safe and healthy. Together, we will get through this. Thank you and God bless the people of Ontario. As the Premier has just noted, the increasing number of COVID-19 cases is extremely concerning. We cannot risk our hard-earned progress. We will never hesitate to protect the health and well-being of all Ontarians. That's why we're taking decisive action to slow the spread of COVID-19 by reducing the size of unmonitored private social gatherings across the entire province. With more and more people returning to work, children returning to schools, and students going back to college or university, we need to ensure we're doing everything we can to minimize the risk of spread. This further action is based on the recommendations made by our Chief Medical Officer of Health, the Associate Chief Medical Officer of Health, and our Public Health Measures Table. It is in direct response to the latest data that tells us private social gatherings are a significant contributor to the recent increase in cases. As we apply the limits on unmonitored and private social gatherings across the province, it's never been more important for all Ontarians to follow public health advice. We can never lose sight of the fact that each and every one of us has a role to play in stopping the spread of COVID. Please continue to practice physical distancing, wear face coverings, practice good hand hygiene, protect your social circles, Stay home if you're feeling ill, even with mild symptoms. And please quarantine for 14 days when returning from outside of Canada. 
These everyday actions will help keep you and your friends, neighbors, and family members safe. And they will help our province win the fight against COVID-19.